Hi there, it's Psychic Cynthia here. Hello there and welcome. And happy belated full moon. Yes, in case you didn't see my other notices about it, we just had the full moon in Capricorn, or whenever you're watching this. Um, so we just had the full moon. It was exact yesterday in the near the middle of the day. And somebody asked me a question where they were asking about charging your crystals and your tarot cards, your runs, or salt, whatever it is that you might want to put out by the full moon and charge. And I know some of you do that. Some of you like to put out uh, jewelry, for example. Your crystals that you wear, or it could just be regular jewelry. And she had said is that the woman who wrote me this question, she said, oh my gosh, I forgot to put it out last night. Can I still do it tonight? Or is there a difference, you know, when the full moon, in other words, when the full moon is exact in like the middle of the day where you're at, instead of night, I mean, can you do it the night before or the night after? I mean, even if it's exact in the night, can you do it the night after? And if so, what is the difference? And she kind of wanted to know more about that. So short answer is, yes, you can definitely do it the night before and the night after. You could probably even do it two nights before or two nights after. There's still going to be some strong moonlight energy, assuming you have visibility where you're at from the moon. In other words, assuming it's not entirely cloudy that night, which often it is cloudy around the time of the full moon. Um, so often we're not able to get our stuff out right on the night. Sometimes we are, but sometimes we're not. Uh, so yes, if you didn't get your stuff out on the night of the recent full moon, but you're still thinking you want to do a charge, then just do it the next night, assuming it's clear. And is there a difference, you know, versus say if I charge my uh, runes or jewelry or salt or crystals the night before the full moon? versus the night of, or let's say the full moon's in the middle of the day, do I do it the night before or the night after? Um, I do think there is an energetic difference, but it's subtle. Um, one way to think of it is that before the full moon is exact, in other words, the night before, and let's say it's, you know, halfway in between, let's say the full moon is exact, at noon, you know, <laughs> actually the the moon comes up, you know, not on the same cycle as the sun, so that may not even be good. But let's say it's whenever the moon is exact, it's pretty close to either night. You're going to be able to get visibility. Let's just assume that. Uh, so the night before the moon is still what we call waxing. It is still increasing in strength. So I would think that the objects that were placed under that moonlight that was waxing, in other words, as the energies are still building, would have more of a building, strengthening vibe, just slightly, okay, just slightly. And then once the moon has hit exact and it enters into the waning cycle, because from that point on it's decreasing, then there might be a little bit of a, you know, tinge of purification energy. Um, so if the optics being charged are used primarily for purification, you know, you might either want to do it on the night of the full moon, like when it's exact, or after that, because you want to get a little bit of that waning energy. Are you following me here? Uh, so with the recent full moon was exact, uh, goodness, I don't have my numbers here, but I think it was uh, about 1.38 p.m. in my time zone which obviously you can't charge something by moonlight at 1.38 p.m. in the day. Um, that was yesterday. So if I wanted to get, you know, the cleansing energy along with the energizing, in other words, um, then I would have placed it out last night because last night, by the time the night came around, it was already waning. Or I would even place it out tonight, which is a whole you know, will be more than 24 hours after the moon was exact, but I think it would be okay to do that. Whereas if I was really focused on just energizing something, I would have probably tried to do it the night before, or maybe the night of. But you know, here's the 
here's the thing. I mean, the, the full moon energies or the moon energies are still pretty strong and intense, even a day or two after it's been exact. So I wouldn't split hairs too much about that unless you're charging something for a specific magical operation, you know, where you're, everything has to be super detailed, then you can split your hairs. Um, one other thing to think about here, and I'm getting a little bit detailed, but some of you might need this info, is the, not just the phase of the moon, as not, not just when the moon is exact and the timing, but think about uh, all of this in relationship to the signs of the moon. So we had recently a full moon at 21 degrees Capricorn. And if you had placed your object out to charge last night, for most of the night, the moon was still in Capricorn. But I believe it was around 3.30 a.m. in my time zone, the moon changed to Aquarius. So again, if you're doing a, uh, charging something for a specific magical operation or a specific type of healing or manifestation process, and you're trying to line it up with a specific sign or energy, you need to maybe think about that and look at uh, an astrological affirmus and see if the moon's going to change signs during that time. Uh, I think that could be very important because I do believe there is a different quality of energy to an object charge, say, under the light of a Capricorn moon versus an Aquarius moon. I won't go into all that here because that's too super detailed and you'd have to learn about those signs, but uh, it's easy enough to look up things for yourself online now, you know, relating to the signs. So just be aware if you want to, if you want to think about the quality of the moon energy, I mean, actually that sun energy, but remember the moon reflects the light of the sun. So yeah, these signs, when the moon is in these signs, it, it also imprints upon your objects. Okay, so thoughts to think about. I hope that helps. Uh, maybe just helps you relax. It's okay if you miss the night of it. Just do it the next night or if you need to do it the night before. That's okay too. Short version. Alrighty. Bright and cosmic blessings to you all. Until next time.